Hello, this is News Mongolia. I'm Saltan Horst in the Mimbi World studio. For our top stories. Container terminal at Qashon Suhat port commissioned. Four Mongolian nationals awarded Hungarian Order of Merit. Asian Development Bank forecasts 4.6% growth in Mongolia in 2021, backed by accommodative policies. For other news, stay tuned. By decree of the Hungarian president, Janos Adar, four Mongolians have been awarded with the Hungarian Order of Merit for their contributions in developing Mongolia-Hungary relations. Notably merited teacher of Mongolia, Onur Payam, president of the Mongolia-Hungary Society Patricher, translator Gerilma, who translated the Paul Street Boys novel by Hungarian writer Ferenc Molnar, and editor in Tol were the recipients of the award. I have translated numerous Hungarian books and literature, and now we are working on the documentary that depicts the Mongolia-Hungarian mutual relationship dating back to 1959. Hungary is the major center of Mongolian studies. I have organized numerous forums on promoting Hungarian Mongolists and wrote several articles on that theme. I think the state award is a recognition of my humble contributions. Since 2015, a total of seven Mongolian citizens have received the Hungarian Order of the Merit. The Ambassador of Hungary and Mongolia has noted this is strengthening relationships. We're planning to every year award Mongolian nationals who have contributed to the development of bilateral relations between our two countries. In addition, we're looking forward to translating famous Hungarian literature books into the Mongolian language and to promote Hungarian culture in Mongolia as well. It's been 71 years since Mongolia established diplomatic relations with Hungary. Prime Minister Oyu Irten. Minister of Mining and Heavy Industry, Yondong, Minister of Road and Transport Development, Haltar, and Minister of Finance, Jaxlang, visited the new container terminal at Qashon Suhat port during their working visit to Umnagoy province. In the first eight months of 2019, 14 million tons of coal was exported through Qashon Suhat post. Throughout the pandemic, China has decreased its coal imports. In the first eight months of 2021, 8.6 million tons of coal from three mining deposits were stored at 29 locations at the Tsaganghat border checkpoint, which has caused a deterioration of coal quality, environmental pollution and a decrease in the weight of the coal. To address these issues, Cabinet Resolution 185 was approved on July 2, 2021, authorizing the construction of terminals for container storage and transfer at ports of entry and other locations near the border. Construction of the container terminal at Kashon Suhat port was completed in two months through partnership between state and private entities. 60% of funding for the terminal's construction was provided by Irtnes Tauntalha LLC, 15% from Tauntalha LLC, and 25% from Energy Resources LLC. Energy Resources LLC received state approval to build the terminal on 30 hectares. Coal exports have been halted due to the pandemic. Therefore, lots of complex work is being done in order to boost exports. In July 2022, the Kashun Railway will be put into operation and terminal will be built for it. State and private entities will partner in building more terminals for container storage and transport at the border ports. Construction work for a terminal at Shivekurang has started and ongoing at the moment. Minister of Mining and Heavy Industry Yondun said the container terminal will operate 24 hours a day with the target of exporting 8,100 containers or 8 million tons of coal per year. It is possible to bring the amount of coal exports up to 19 million tons per day by making further enhancements to the terminal step by step. The smart solution system has been introduced at the terminal to automate all operations. The system allows orders for cargo shipments to be received up to 14 days in advance, which allows time for taking care of customs clearance in advance. Long-distance and short-distance shipment are scheduled separately to avoid congestion, 
and drivers are able to cross the border without coming into direct contact with us. After a tour of the container terminal, Prime Minister Ayungirtan has instructed the state and province emergency commissions, the General Authority for Border Protection and related officials to enforce COVID-19 precautionary measures in the Tsaganghat region in order for it to become a green zone. The Prime Minister noted that by launching container terminal operations as quickly as possible, it will be possible to export all the coal stored at Tsaganghat, highlighting the importance of starting coal transportation from the Tawantotra mine. The Prime Minister also instructed the officials to expedite the process of increasing the number of coal container trucks crossing the border. On Wednesday, the Asian Development Bank in Mongolia organized a virtual webinar and introduced its September 2021 outlook. The Asian Development Outlook 2021 update presented analysis and economic forecasts for the region and Mongolia. The webinar was opened by a speech of ADP Country Director Pavit Ramachandra on the Asian Regional Economic Forecast. Later, the senior economist of ADP both introduced Mongolia's economic growth forecast. The ADP Country Director notes that the renewed outbreaks of COVID-19 are causing economic concerns for the region. As of August 31, 28.7% of the Asian region's population is fully vaccinated. This number is relatively low compared to 52% in the United States and 58% in European Union. The policy responses to the pandemic are gradually being changed through the vaccination. The region's output is forecast to expand by 7.1% in 2021 and 5.4% in 2022. It should be supported by a broad recovery in exports and accommodative fiscal and monetary policy. The updated forecast for this year was reduced by 0.2 percentage points compared to the April forecast. In addition, inflation might pick up in some Asian developing countries because of rising food and energy prices. You know, we from ADP side, we've been working with Mongolia on uh, improving, upgrading the border crossing points across the country. So we worked in uh, Alton Bulag, in, in Borsho, uh, and of course in Zaminud also. Uh, the, the intent really is to facilitate uh, trade, to uh, allow Mongolia to access international markets. As a landlocked country, these cross-border points are particularly important. Senior economist Bolt highlighted that the fast-growing number of COVID-19 cases in the second half of 2021 in Mongolia has affected the local economy negatively. The growing number of cases was the reason for border closures and lockdowns. In addition to that, major coal importer China stopped its imports from Mongolia. The reducing the amount of export income was the main reason to cause an economic shock to the local economy. Therefore, it was concluded that the main pillar to boost the local economy is to effectively fight the pandemic and reduce the outbreaks. In its Asian Development Outlook 2021 update, ATP projects Mongolia's economic growth to rebound to 4.6% in 2021, slightly lower than 4.8% forecast in April, before accelerating to 6% in 2022. On Wednesday, the Ministry of Health reports that 3,460 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed and 14 more people have died. In the past 24 hours, 3,460 new cases were confirmed and 6,120 have recovered. Unfortunately, 14 patients, 6 women and 8 men died of COVID-19 complications. Out of the new cases, 1,896 were confirmed in Ulaanbaatar and 1,518 were confirmed in the rural provinces. At hospitals nationwide, 21,524 COVID-19 patients are being treated. Out of them, 12,156 show mild symptoms of illness and 376 are in critical condition. Additionally, 62,515 patients are being treated at home under supervision from first-level family hospitals. Now let's take a look at the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank.
is the weather forecast for the world's major cities. This is it for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you tomorrow with more news and updates. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.